আপনারা দেখছেন টকিং পয়েন্ট সৌজন্যে মাহবুব অ্যান্ড কো অ্যাকাউন্ট just before the break we were talking to enam bhai about uh, his role in the olympics and we want to keep the matters on track and so we want to talk about curry industry and olympics yes enam bhai <laughs> <laughs> well what i'm saying that when i see that you know joy of uh, britain that we're going to do the whole i think it was 2007 when so it was yeah, decided yeah, absolutely and, uh, and yeah. i was visiting london from saudi arabia you see and i was okay. so delighted that and it was really just celebration and i think the one word was really touch me uh, and uh, the one is actually multicultural britain right so that is the reason i thought oh my god there's opportunity for me yes and uh, how can you call multicultural britain when curry is not exist <laughs> then i look at to different you know search engine what's happening in past and all those things there's a lot of work went on mm-hmm. and i did best way i can now you had plenty of time from 2007 plenty, yeah. to 2012 yeah, absolutely a <laughs> lot of time i spent a lot of money to my proposal but luckily i've got some of fantastic supporter of my restaurant who i've been served for last 25 years at leraz mm-hmm. and their support is unbelievable without mm-hmm. their support maybe i wouldn't get that mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. the whole uh, what they call the olympic um uh, serving the olympic without the support mm-hmm. you know from bentley to series to all those big company pfizer right. you know become who i re- still they're my customer right. you know for corporate line so they give me huge support a mm-hmm. genuine support it wasn't biased anything what leraj is all about mm-hmm. and the leraj history media mm-hmm. history and all those things and the olympic has a one decision they want to give small business mm-hmm. that was one of the concept based so everything actually my box was ticking absolutely nicely mm-hmm. you know the one is another one was you fitted in there fitted in there very well this another one was looking into that my, how i stand out from the 11 uh, contestant was mm-hmm. you know big guys very big operator and i realized this one things was less so what i've done i actually merge with mm-hmm. one uh continental caterer mm-hmm. i merged with one jewish caterer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and one i'm curry caterer right. so we make okay. three together mm-hmm. and three portfolio was really huge really right. huge right. apart from me right. apart from me <laughs> very huge <laughs> and one of the condition was i think when i when i i won actually that reason mm-hmm. i put um um iftar menu no oh, great and i put uh, you know those halal and all the khajur where it's come from all kind of details mm-hmm. the menu everything madina dates any <laughs> dates and how is done the water the yogurts all kind of nutritional very absolutely historical arabic way of do that breaking the fast yeah and what submission was that when from arab all the king and queen will arrive they yes. make sure have those facility and we mm-hmm. got on the menu and no other 10 contestant was offered this mm-hmm. they, did, they, they didn't maybe realize on that yes, far that it was being held during the after yeah, yeah, ramadan absolutely. so i think that was my additional advantage on my proposal see look this is an advantage advantage <laughs> and and i took that advantage and being a muslim myself and also my my knowledge and all those yes. things of was really helpful to me right. and and then eventually you know i wasn't expected at all i was thought it's a great experience mm-hmm. to submitting so many pages of the three volume of <laughs> submission it was huge professional right, you know yeah. submission and when i got a visitor mm-hmm. from the olympic i was really over the moon mm-hmm. even though i know i didn't going to win it's mm-hmm. no chance mm-hmm. but i was absolutely uh, over the moon that at least this official people mm-hmm came into my visit so i took with my camera and i was not mm-hmm. i was with fear mm-hmm. to whether ask him can i take picture or not mm-hmm. you know <laughs> so visit the kitchen visit the restaurant they had an incognito yeah yeah and and then said you know we will let you know and obviously months and months gone i just gave up hope i said it's not going to be happen because i got no chance you know but at least i will know right. you know anyway i got a few contract which well, is you g- gave it a try <laughs> yeah i got a few contract so i really gave up i just thought i've tried good things i keep that volume of presentation for my life and i got a letter <laughs> you know i've been awarded how l- how long before uh it was just a year before mm-hmm. on you know before two, the, yeah. 2011 mm-hmm. end of the 11 when i got that i just i couldn't explain the, my feeling mm-hmm. whether it, whether it's true or not i wasn't mm-hmm. sure 
Anyway, I said to my wife, my, my son, everyone. So we really celebrate right. and pray to Allah that, you know, look what achievement we have done here. Anyway, and what, would, what was that uh, business in terms of money? Large amount of money. Large we amount we of money large amount of money. But I think the, the emotional value, the professional value was yeah. much more than the amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Money wasn't in my mind actually. It was mainly that industries, yes. careers, and to including to, to the Olympic was really big things for me. Right. And when I did 17 days, it was a real praise for me. 17 days I've done. And on that painful work with my family, my son. My How did you organize the logistics? Because you are well, somewhere in, in South 2011, Mali. we got a hundred of, you know, waiter, waitress, all the staff has to be accredited. Right. Otherwise, nobody, you cannot take somebody because I've got a short. So I've got ex extra staff, right. which is I have hired and accredited. So they stand by. Mm -hmm. My family member, my all, they're accredited by Olympic because they've got all batch. They can, right. whenever I need, you know, I can take them. Right. So it was, it was really big, you know, big things I've done. And when I got, I mean, everybody received the batch. It's like unbelievable, you know. <laughs> how, how, many, how many dishes or? We, because every day, every different day. menu. Every day we had to do different menu different requirement of mm -hmm. lunch and the evening mm -hmm. and we are, didn't work under the Laraj, it was mm -hmm. under the Olympic because we didn't have a no, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a signage we've done, it's, right. we, are, we cannot explain we are from Laraj, we've got no badges, we are under right. the Olympic, uh -huh. everybody named Olympic. Right. So anyway, and that is um, when we went through and a lot of things we learned, I hired quite a few people which is operational side mm -hmm. in the kitchen you know, statistic. Where was your kitchen? It's in, it's in the Olympic. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it's a massive mm -hmm. kitchen they gave me, and um, very massive, huge uh, mm -hmm. kitchen they gave me, which is, you know, So you, your boys must be spending the whole time there? Well, yeah, we had to work. I mean, every day I was there. 17 Shift, days, yeah. 17 days came in the morning, mm -hmm. and at night, one o'clock, uh, going by cab, mm -hmm. and sending people various places, because they got to make sure all the staff has to go and arrive, all the safety, everything. Mm -hmm. Nobody turn up, so somebody had an accident, it's going to be, big story. So it was a real fear. And I remember every time I pray at the Olympic, you know, and I say, Nullah, give me, you know, the, don't make any kind of, you know, mistake that I will suffer for the mm -hmm. rest of the rest of the life. Because it could be anything happen to my staff. And yes. it could be because linkage of Olympic, because they got a badge, yes. it could be big story. So for me, it was a real worry, uh, uh, you know, all of us, including but Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, nothing happened. And I tell you what we happened. After 17 days, Lord Ko came in and said, Nam, mm -hmm. I know you have only, uh, can you do two days on the top of that Paralympic? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was really smiling on face, face you know, and mm -hmm. I said, okay, fantastic, really, we do that. So I did two days for Olympic. After two days I've done, nearby, you don't know how much I was, okay, financial, of course, I gained. But the biggest moment when he said to me, 5,000 people, you do the rapper party for Britain of the Olympic in the park, and I did it. I did 5,000 with my, with my family, with all the staff outside to give goodbye to Olympic to the Rio. And I was the sole responsible for, right. for doing a curry, mm -hmm. solely curry. Only one thing we did because of the theme of my event, mm -hmm. there's a little corner I have mm -hmm. done the, is a uh, fish and chips right. and the beer because it has to be theme related right. of the Britain. So I put 10 Downing Street as a prop mm -hmm. and I put one big uh, mm -hmm. band mm -hmm. on the prop just to look that mm -hmm. whole theme is together right. we're yeah. celebrating. Right. And the Lord Co himself last speech mm -hmm. in this country, historical speech, when he said it was in, it was in mention and he said, thank you, thank you, thank you. You made a headline without your name. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing Lord Co given speech and in his mouth, lamb <laughs> dishes from, from Laraj. Amazing, amazing. So was I really was feel it lamb curry. No, it, it, it was I think lambuna, lam, mm -hmm. lambuna. Yes, mm -hmm. it was a lambuna. Yeah, absolutely. So, so for me, it's a lot of good memory, and they gave me, you know, one torch. Mm -hmm. Normally, people die for True. touch True. the torch, and you know, and I've got my right. one in home. Oh, great. So, and then after we got the torch, well, I must visit and touch it. <laughs> Please. So many people came in and take a picture on my restaurant on, mm -hmm. on, on the one. We raised quite a bit of money as well. We oh, will donate the money for the good work okay. and we give it to the charity. You have it in the restaurant? The yes, I, I have a restaurant. Yes, oh, I have the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Great. See, uh, that, that's another point I should come to the restaurant <laughs> <laughs> and try to taste the tari. Uh You are the, the Asian, this news portal. It calls you the heart and soul of the British curry industry. 
how do you manage with this kind of accolades, this kind of uh, honors that you have been uh, given by so many people of different shades? There is something else that you see. British Career Awards founded in 2005 to recognize excellence with the intention of generating headlines and features. So these are your words for the British Curry restaurants. And every British Curry Award that you hold, as you see, it does get you headlines, it does get you features in the mainstream newspapers. Why? Because you invite such important people like the I think good work always has been recognized. When you do continue honesty and good work, I mean, I, I'm very flattered to uh, British Curry Award has a lot of many followers. Uh, my workmanship has been established. Mm -hmm. You only work in, you can enjoy when people follow you. Mm -hmm. Without following you, well, it, it, it's, it's for me, it's, I'm not doing the right thing. So for me, since I British Curry Award, I launched 2005, almost eight, eight, 21 uh, award ceremony has started. Mm -hmm. And I feel very proud. I absolutely feel proud that they're following my footsteps. They are trying to do something similar. It's a long way to go obviously, and still I feel that they are following my many things. And, and sometimes some of them maybe are copying things. People say, yeah, oh, yeah. I went there, it's very similar, this and that. Yeah. I said, doesn't matter. The main thing is they're trying. They're still they're trying to do it. And the good things, even following, they will change that concept to, uh, to, um, to following rather than copying. No, There's a copying and following. Copying is never give you recognition. True. That gives you, you copy somebody. No, and when you do uh, following somebody, you could be recognized your people. You look at mm -hmm. everywhere in the world. No, you look Apple, you got Window, you got um, Facebook, you got this. <laughs> Always something you find. So it's a good thing to be in the market to contest and absolutely all the brainstorming to come up with the good things for the industry. It says that the imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. See? Absolutely. So people flatter you by because they are copying you, yeah. because they are impressed by your intellectual achievements. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you have different categories in the uh, British Career Awards. Can you explain what is the award judging process? How do you do this? Yeah, our judging process is one of the best judging process. I can uh, assure you that we have uh, people has to nominate the mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. The restaurant has to be... Uh, you mean the customers? Customer, yeah. Anybody can? Anybody can, but it has to be credible nomination. Right. You cannot just ask your brother to nominate your restaurant. Right. This is not credible. Right. So some people send 1,000. I mean, what restaurant maybe send 9,000 nomination? <laughs> over 200,000 nomination this year, over 200,000. And it's like app, it's like, you know, email. Mm -hmm. You've got many form of nomination mm -hmm. has been, you know, submitted. Mm -hmm. But doesn't it doesn't make any added value right. that you have done 10,000 nominations, mm -hmm. even though people do. But it does make you some additional that your interest, mm -hmm. your customer interest, mm -hmm. and but we have to find credible one. Even 10,000, you go to look one credible one, whether someone in your profession, mm -hmm. whether somebody in, in doctor profession, somebody in your local GP mm -hmm. who lives in the borough for a long time, yes. who knows and who can say, I found a restaurant I've been eating for 10 years. Right. It's a fantastic restaurant, good food, and I like to nominate this restaurant mm -hmm. for one of the best in the region. That's nomination, but That's how nomination. do you do judge? After the nomination, right. the nomination credible check, and then they go back to for the, uh, uh, the, those criteria to meet. Right. And after the criteria, if you are accept that, mm -hmm. then you will get another form that you, your restaurant been accepted right. for as, a, no, as a, a nomination. Now you have to fill the form. Mm -hmm. The form has an extensive amount of details, mm -hmm. your how many seats and all these things, mm -hmm. and then go to another uh, scrutiny, and that scrutiny is very vital. Mm -hmm. That scrutiny, I mean, imagine we got maybe 3,000 restaurants being nominated by number of people, mm -hmm. but we, we will have only maybe two, 300 restaurants will be shortlisted, right. or 150 or something like that will be only shortlisted. Out of shortlisted, the 11 people will be the winner mm -hmm. on there. So can you imagine that how strong scrutiny is? And then, then judge will go to the finalist. All the finalist restaurants will visit mm -hmm. incognito, and they'll visit those restaurants and they'll make the remark. They come back, the all people sit down at the, at the judging process, right. and that makes sure the judges are uh, the marking those restaurants who... In Mumbai, time is the worst judge, so we have to take a break again, as you said, uh, our bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take a commercial break and uh, stop this... A uh, very interesting discussion and then we'll come back, talk about the judging process and how the awards are given to 
denominated restaurants. Thank you. Apnara Dixin, Talking Point. Show Junne, Mahbub and Co Accountants.